place is looking tight on the pictures, dude. Look at this one on the right, with like all the scallop things. Uh, wow, that's the shit. What do you think that's it is? Uh, obviously seafood. Um, I don't know, I don't really have a name for it. It just looks like different types of seafoods. Like they've got some cooked, some raw, fried. So what they have is they have goma, mm. which is clam, and they have scallop. Ooh. Yeah. Love a bit of scallop. And what we're going to do is scallops. Of course. And it's basically a scallop course. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little bit, huh? Yeah, I got a, a bit, bit lightheaded there, huh? A little bit excited. Lost so a lot of blood. It's scallops cooked in various different ways. Yeah. And then you also have some other things with it, some other fish with it too. Yeah, I like it. So it's a scallop course dinner, basically. Oof. Have you had thing in the middle? Thing in the middle will be a scallop pancake thing. Yo. Yeah. Oh. That looks good. Yeah. You know, I don't think I ever asked if you like seafood. Like, I know Floyd loves it. I like seafood, but I pref I prefer meat. Okay, so yeah. But Floyd prefers seafood to me. Interesting. So that's the difference. Floyd is kind of broken. Broken. <laughs> so, scallops is something I'd never had in England before I came to Korea. Yeah. It's something I fell in love with when I came to Korea. In England, though, it's really expensive, right? Very expensive. Yeah. If I didn't work in, in a restaurant, I would have never tried it. Yeah. It's ridiculously expensive, but in Korea, especially if you come to the coastal town, it's actually very reasonably priced. Like, this dish will be scallops in all different forms. It comes out to like 20 one thousand per person, it's like twenty bucks per person. That's like a normal meal in the US. For that amount, you would not get this amount of scallops in England. Not a chance. You get like how many scallops would you get for like fifteen quid? About three. Yeah. <laughs> <Medioca ones. laughs> not really. Maybe two. You get one big one for about twenty-one quid. <laughs> you just don't have like any scallops around. I think there's certain foods like oysters too, which maybe they're harder to find in England. Oysters. Not expensive in England. They're not? I thought they were really, well, in restaurants they are. Yeah, restaurants will bump you, but if you actually like go to the market and buy them, they're ah, cheap. Well, scallops are expensive in the market as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, so oysters were cheap in the market, but they yeah. bump you in. Really? Yeah. Because in Korea, oysters are quite cheap. Yeah? Yeah. Even I, in restaurants, they're reasonably priced. I've been meaning to, be meaning to try, like, do like an oyster day in Korea. Well, Not day, like an oyster meal where it's like on the barbecue and you're raw, like all of that stuff. There was a really good oyster place in in Koje, but they only do it during the oyster season. Yeah, the oyster season starts from next month. Yeah. We're nearly in next month. <laughs> so I think we could get away with it. In the next place we're going, I am going to try and do oysters, but it depends. Because you want the fresh ones, right? So yeah. you like to have it when it's in season. It's basically the sea temperature. Like the colder the better, and I don't think it's cold enough. No. <laughs> no. Chongshik, this is what it's called in Korea. Kalibi chongshik. It's like a, a coarse meal. It's just a great way to try that type of cooking made in separate, different ways, all together. Very common for fish, actually, to eat chongshiks. What's this? This is the salad that I was talking about. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Those look really good. So I just want to say this for the people watching, we did only order two people's worth rather than three because all of us were not that hungry. But after it's all come out, I'm a lot more hungry. I think we would have been okay. Yeah. yeah, hunger did kick in when I saw it. Yeah. And the fish, they gave us an extra fish for free, which is amazing. So, let's, let's dig in. What do you want to try first? Yeah, you guys wanted a pancake, right? So the pancake's supposed to be dipped in this or this. Okay, okay. Try on its own first. <laughs> The best. Oh man, this looks really good. Oh, it smells like it's got a bit of crust on there. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah. I love that. I can eat just that. I might eat just that. It's got a in it, isn't it? That's more barilla. Mm. It does. Nice. 
Nice catch. Stop Maria, it's got spring onions. It's got carrots. It's got carrots. Dude, it's, got, it's, it's John's absolutely. It's John's <laughs> fucking desire right there. Oh my gosh. Man, that was without soy sauce as well. Wow. That is insane. He's yeah. always improved when you put soy sauce in there. The pancake always improves in taste. It's quite high too when you put soy sauce in there. Yeah. That's amazing. That is insane. No, no, you that's all. With that. I'm saying that is all I need. Yeah. I don't care about any of this. <laughs> Just give me that. Man, now that we start eating, I'm kind of hungry all this time. Oh I feel God. like we should have ordered three. I reckon you can just get another one of these. <laughs> And then we'll decide <laughs> later. Let's go through the stuff, <laughs> and then if we, if we still want, we will get just a big old one of them. These are, that's all in my name. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ooh, it reminds me of the cold noodle thing we have with the crabs. Yeah, that's a good observation. I didn't realize until you said that. Sauce is similar. Yeah. You can see there's also carrot in this, a <laughs> little chives. Oh, this place is built for you, John. <laughs> red peppers, I didn't even see those. Yeah, yeah, I got a red pepper. Damn. Oh, that was really good. And these will be steamed. <laughs> that is the same as that, just prepared differently. Yeah, That's it's the same, same fish. This, I've never seen before. This is a raw scallop, salty <laughs> thing. You should eat this with rice because it'll be salty. Let's just say marinated raw scallop. Oh, oh. That's fine, oh. Oh, don't do it on its own. You need it with rice. It's very salty. A little piece of that seasons up like a yeah. tablespoon of rice. <laughs> yeah. This will usually be um, squid, by the way. Mm. It's a typical oh, squid. Oh, that one. It's that one. You put it with rice and you get a piece of seaweed. You wrap it up. Yeah. Game over. That is fantastic. I love the nut yeah, squid again. one. Run it back. <laughs> I want to now try one of these. Have you seen these? So what is this? This is a seaweed leaf. This is a stringy version of seaweed. So this is like a real seaweed. Dried. Yeah. It's beautiful looking. Did I even get a shot of that? I'm not sure if I did. Let me put it there. Are well, we going to make a roll of this? I'm going to put fish in the roll. Feels like a shame to eat that. It's like artwork. In all really my lovely. time going to Korean restaurants, I've never seen this before either. I'm making a roll, yeah. I'm putting this in and the rice. This has actually got um, fish egg in it. Flying broken. <laughs> The texture is soft. It's like the texture of grass. It's like eating grass, <laughs> but it's not grass. Mm, it's nice. I feel like a cow right now. I kind of want to try some of this all the time. I go for it, Wow, that's absolutely mad. It's got this slight seaweed taste, a little bit spice on it almost. It's very subtle. Mm. It's like fluffy. Like, uh, what's that cotton candy thing called? Candy floss. Yeah, yeah, it's like a seaweed candy floss. Have you ever eaten the cereal shredded wheat? Yeah, that's how it's a bit shredded wheat. Yeah. It's a bit shredded wheat. Yeah. You want to give this one a try? Right. So you get a bit of the salad and then try and find a little scallop in there. Oh no, these ones are actually clams. These are scallops. This place is known for clams and scallops, basically. Mm. I don't know what the flavor is, but fresher. The green in there. It's supposed to be very fresh. These things are supposed to be refreshing. Mm. Raw, raw onion in there. I mean, so it's something that we've eaten. It's a uh, green onion, carrot. Oh, nice. A bit of cabbage, yep, more onion. It's supposed to be very refreshing. And that's exactly what it is. It's quite good. Can we just quickly go back to the pancake? <laughs> yeah, I've been looking at that. Man. I love the edge pieces because they got this yeah. little they got this little char on the edge in the corners. I'm all about that. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda regret not getting three portions. Oh. Yeah, it still takes it. <laughs> just knock some fish. Yeah, I put it on my little roll. Hey, how was the fish? It's lovely. It does look like a bit of a bass. I can't really tell at the moment. Let me flip it. Uh, it looks like a flatfish. Um, mm. No matter how hungry you are when you get here, in order for the amount of people that you are, yeah. learn from us. Yeah. You'll get hungry once you see the food. Yeah. On these series when we're going about, we do eat a lot of food every day. Yeah. So we were, we were quite stuffed today and we're thinking, have a light dinner. It's only us. T turned out we didn't want a light dinner. <laughs> Meal was being nice. All right, boys. Let's have some of the scallop soup. Mm. 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 You should have some rice to get this soup. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. It's a typical fish too in Korea, actually. It's got some soybean in it. It's almost a pinjang jjigae. It does taste crabby. I think that's where the brown is from. It's lovely. It's very welcome because it has a different flavor to the whole food.
such a sight Watching all the lovers fall into the 